bicycle as rejuvenating part of our rural scene. Absolutely, yes, we have things like rail trails going through central Otago is a really good example. The Otago Rail Trail has really juvenate, rejuvenated the um, local economy by tourism. So we have people coming to New Zealand, especially the South Island. They want to see some of the beautiful areas that we have and they mostly choose to do that by bicycle. So by opening up farms, sometimes it's private land, sometimes it's adjacent to the farm. We have these rail trails here in Selwyn. We have the Little River Rail Trail, which many farmers have opened up in, to enable people to ride their bicycles through. And of course, there's accommodation needed on some occasions. So many people might want to, if they do a longer trip, they might want to stay overnight. So many times the farmers can open up their, their place for accommodation. They can look at making different types of products for people, such as soap or honey or having some fruits and vegetables for sale, which is a great thing when you're on a bicycle. <laughs> and that leads us on to farmers markets. Yes, the farmers market, really shopping locally, shopping where you know actually the farmer who you're buying from is a great thing to do on a bicycle because what you can do is you have your basket, you show up to the farmer's market, you talk with your farmer, you buy your fruits and vegetables and any other things they might have for sale. So it's a great way to bring back that local community and have a social interaction as well. Your area of expertise is actually health to make wealth. Yes, health into wealth is a great way of putting it. So the bicycle, using it as not only recreational, um, obviously we have health benefits there, but as a form of transportation. So again, the farmer's market, actually going, thinking of the farmer's market as the, the pharmacy. This is where you can get very healthy fruits and vegetables that you put back into your body and that can all be done with the bicycle. Are we ready as a nation to put away the motorbikes and dust off and get out the push cycles for our farmers? So I have spoken with some farmers about this. Um, really putting aside the motorized bike is a great way and, and pulling out, dusting off the push bike is a great way to build exercise into your daily life and still accomplish those tasks that need to be done and getting places quickly. So I, I highly advise getting on the bicycle and it's a good way you'll you'll notice after a few days of doing it actually you'll even enjoy it a bit more and you'll be able to take notice to some of the things that maybe you zoomed right by in the past i've spoken with someone who's noticed some a water leak because they were really connected to the land more so than than just driving past and he said he's not sure how long that's been going on you are really very health focused aren't you yes for me health is really happiness. So if you can reach a level of health that you enjoy, you get around quite easily, you're mobile, things are functioning, you can live a fairly happy life. So now what are these bicycles that are behind us? So these are the this is the Lincoln University bike share. So currently we have three bikes and what you can do is there's an app called um, bike Next Bike the well it's it's um, Next Bike and what you do is you sign up for that and you can come type in the number and get the bike out for up to two hours so if you need to run into town and uh, have a cuppa with the colleague or go get groceries they have baskets they have there's three gears on there so it's very easy you can also use them for fitness because um, the lincoln branch here is uh, available for two hours, whereas the ones in the city are available for 30 minutes for free. Is bicycling becoming sexy? Yes, actually I would say we're on to something there and sexy from the perspective not that you're wearing lycra, but really that you can ride in a dress if you want. They say there's a group called Frocks on Bikes and they're cruising around town in skirts and normal clothing. Um, you can wear just jeans, whatever you want, and it's, it's something that's for everyone. What I was actually meaning was people really enjoying it. People are enjoying it. Um, it's, it's really, if you think about the first time in your life that you've ever experienced freedom, there's a good chance it was on a bicycle. So to bring people back to that is, for me, is really, it makes, makes me happy. Mm -hmm.